Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with our Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about our scheduling object and scheduling tab in our website. So first thing, we're going to go check out our switchboard so I can show you that scheduling object. Now right here is the schedule object. It filters calls automatically based on the hours that we set up. Now any of the open hours will filter through the open line here. Any of the closed will filter through the closed and a holiday will filter through the holiday. Now these lines can go any direction you'd like them to and connect to any other object. We're just filtering based on those settings. We'll go check out those settings now and I'll show you how to change those. We're gonna to come to the scheduling tab right here on the left side of the screen. Click into that. Now you can have multiple schedules here, but since we only have the one, we're just gonna enter this one. Now the first thing you're gonna see is the list of holidays. These are the most popular holidays in the United States, and you can click on any one of them to activate. If they are checked, the calls will be filtered through that holiday path that I showed you a moment ago. Now you can also create custom holidays for any other day that is not displayed here. Now, like we have here, vacation Wednesday, November 25th. So that means this November 25th, our phone system will treat that day as a holiday and calls will be filtered down that path. Now, because this is a vacation, once the vacation is over, we will want to come in here and remove that object because a vacation doesn't necessarily happen at the exact same time every year and our phone system will keep it at the exact same time every year. So we'll wanna make sure that we remove any that are just temporary. To create a custom holiday, you can click on custom holiday there. You will just want to name the holiday and then select the month and the day. Click create new entry and then that custom holiday will be created. Now you can also edit the date. We're gonna click edit, and we can actually change that to conference. Now, let's say you have a conference on May 8th. So Friday, May 8th, it's gonna be treated as a holiday call in your switchboard, so all calls will be filtered towards that holiday path, and you're gonna be out of town for a conference. But if you go to this conference every year, you can simply edit the day. That way, the next year, you can just edit this without having to create a new one. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see our actual business hours. So we have Sunday through Saturday available to you, 12 a.m. through 11.59. Now, these blue blocks are your open hours. You can put them wherever you would like, and the calls will follow the open path on the switchboard wherever these blue blocks lie. So from 12.30 to 11.30, all calls will follow that open path on this Monday block. Now, you can shift those wherever you like, and then if you click on the bottom, you can stretch and shrink them as well to match whatever hours you need. Now, you can set it in anywhere between 15 minute increments, and you can add new ones simply by clicking and dragging. Every object is gonna automatically add 45 minutes to the time. This just helps in case you accidentally click and then click okay. That way it gives enough space for the X. The X is how you're going to remove any hours that you do not need. You'll click that X button and get those removed. And that is all that is required to get your schedule in working order. Thank you for joining me today for our Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.